During the 1940s and early 50s, the Yankee Fork of the Salmon River was dredge mined, leaving piles of gravel, a flume-like river, and a random assortment of dredge ponds. The dredge ponds, which are fed by groundwater, have some characteristics that are beneficial to fish, but also have some problems. The Shoshone-Bannock tribes use the pond series to acclimate hatchery chinook and steelhead smolts. Adult steelhead spawn in the limited spawning habitat in pond series 1. Juvenile chinook and steelhead rear there during the summer and winter. And the ponds are fished by numerous recreational anglers. This project was initiated to fix some of the problems that occur in Pond Series 1. For example, the outlet portion of the Pond Series often went dry through the fall and winter. This was fixed by installing plugs in the pond that reduce water flow into the dredge tailings. The shallow pond area between the plugs was then filled with dredge tailings to create a wetland meadow. The outflow channel that seeped into the dredge tailings and dried up in late summer, fall, and throughout the winter was filled and a new outflow channel was created further away from the dredge tailings. Spawning gravel was added to increase available spawning habitat and rearing habitat was created by adding pools, wood, and streamside vegetation. This also addressed other problems in the pond series, including lack of spawning and rearing habitat. While the fishing is excellent, the access is sketchy. Dredged gravel along the ponds creates a steep, unstable slope into the ponds, making them difficult to access for those most likely to use them. As part of this project, the slope adjacent to the fishing ponds was lessened and a trail was created. Pond side dredge tailings were covered with topsoil extracted from the new channel and were planted to enable them to revegetate. Since gravel fill was needed for the project anyway, it was removed from the area around a nearby isolated pond, reducing the side slopes into the pond and enabling creation of an access trail and bench around this pond also. Additionally, roadside parking areas were created, a culvert was installed to ensure continued road access, and several dispersed campsites were created. Fish, anglers, and campers have all benefited from this project, but we added one more feature, because everyone likes to jump off a log.